Hello everyone, it's Carrie here again today with a beautiful tropical bouquet card. I'm going to be using this stamp set from Miss Ink Stamps. It is gorgeous. It's got this large tropical bouquet and then also a couple of sentiments that work perfectly with it. Then I'm also going to be using this wonky scallop stencil from Miss Ink Stamps and that's what we're going to start with today. I have a piece of hot pink beautiful cardstock and I'm going to use the stencil to ink on some darker pink ink right over the top. This is going to give us kind of a subtle interest in the background and that's going to be perfect for this backdrop. So you can see you can kind of see it. It's a little bit darker than the cardstock but I'm just gonna quickly ink that on because it's just gonna be a little subtle whisper of pink back there. So there you go, there's our panel. And now I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry for just a little bit. If you're impatient like me, you can use your heat tool to help that ink dry. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use some anti-static mm -hmm. powder to brush over the entire back panel. That's because I'm going to now heat emboss this tropical bouquet as some interest in our background. I'm going to use some beautiful gold glitter embossing powder. It's got gold embossing powder and also a touch of glitter, so it's just the right amount. It's not too glitzy, but it does add some shimmer. I love this embossing powder, so I'm going to go ahead and stamp all of the images. You can see I'm using some Versamark ink here and I'm stamping off the edges just to get some different designs to make it look different in all of the spots that I stamp it. I'll funnel, funnel that back in and finish stamping before I heat set the background. So this one's going to fit perfectly just like that. So I'll go ahead and stamp it one more time. You can see that my acrylic block is not quite as large as the stamp but I'm making it work. <laughs> so there's that one. And then I'll do one more time over on the right side here. And just so we get a continuous gold glitter in the background. And then we have those wonky scallops back there as well. This is gonna make a beautiful backdrop for our tropical bouquet. So I'm gonna heat set that and you can see that it's turning gold. I'll hold it up a little bit so you can see the glitter as well, but it's gold and glitter. There we go, just finishing the heat setting there. My heat tool has been going strong for, oh gosh, over a decade now, and I still love it, so I haven't replaced it yet. I figure if it's not broken, then why fix it, right? So I love this one. Now I went ahead and stamped that whole stamp the tropical bouquet onto some Bristol smooth cardstock. And I'm heat setting it with some clear. And I'm going to heat set it with clear because I want to use my watercolor markers here to watercolor this image. The clear embossing powder is going to keep that watercolor in those wells. It's going to be perfect. So I picked out just a few of these colors. I'll have them written out for you in the description at YouTube. And so if you want to see what colors I've used, I'll have that there and also at the blog. I'm just testing out these colors here to see how they blend, how dark and bright and vibrant they are. Some of these markers are brighter and have more of a strong color than others. So this is going to help me in my coloring process. And I've chosen just a variety here. This one is a turquoise color and I put the a line of it at the base of the leaf here where it would be darkest and then I pull the rest of that out with a water brush. You can see that I have a paper towel here in my hand that I kind of wipe that brush away when it gets too much ink because I want to have a light and a dark area for each of these leaves. And that's how I'm going to really pretty much do the entire watercoloring of this image. It's so easy when you have these watercolor markers. You can just make a line and blend it out with water. Now if you get a little outside the line, you can just use some water and dab that off with your towel. Super easy to do. Here I'm using a purple that is a very vibrant, so I'm just picking some up here off the paper to color those berries and then I'll add a small amount of a dot 
on some of them that need a little bit more vibrancy, but I didn't want them to completely get lost in purple and turn almost black. So I'm just using a small amount of this color. This one's really, really bright. Now I'm gonna go through and color those flowers. The smaller ones, I'm gonna use a lighter pink color. I'm still doing the same exact technique by putting the darkest amount towards the bottom of the flower and pulling that color up with the water brush. For the larger flowers, I'm gonna start off with this darker pink color. This is going to just be my first layer for these flowers. Sometimes I like to go in and create a darker color or more interest by adding different colors. So here is our base color with this hot pink. Just drawing small lines and pulling that out with the water brush. Super easy to do. Anybody could do this, even if you are not an expert watercolorist. So I'll finish up this one. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the other one as well. Drawing in those lines allowing a little time for the other one to dry before I add some more water. I don't want these to smear together, but since I did that heat embossing with the clear, I'm gonna have a better result anyway because it'll keep those wells a little bit apart from each other. There's the beginning part of those flowers. And now let's work on these leaves. These are birds of paradise and they are gorgeous. We get these in Arizona sometimes too, but this really makes me think of Hawaii. I'm gonna use kind of a lime green on those leaves, making them darker near the bottom. And you can see I got a little bit over there, so I'm pulling that out with water. Now for the tops of these flowers, I'm using an orange color. And for the bottom of the flowers, I'm going in with that dark pink again. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the orange down with water first. I'm gonna allow that to kind of blend out with that water, and then I'll go in and blend out the dark pink till, so they blend together just a bit there. You're gonna get the most gorgeous flowers here with these two colors blending together. I think it looks so pretty. So there you go, birds of paradise, just gorgeous. Now this needs a little more vibrancy. I'm gonna add some of that orange into the hot pink flowers as well. That will give it more of a brightness. So just adding a little bit of color here and there, and then I'll go ahead and blend that out with water as well. And look at that, you're gonna get a much brighter, more vibrant, kind of fiery looking hot pink orangish flower. I love these, so pretty. Now I'm just going in with a little more of that turquoise green, making some of these leaves a little bit more vibrant to match those flowers. And I'll do the same thing, just adding a little line of color and pulling it out with the water. And once this is dry, you can add more color as much as you want. You can add different colors, what, whatever you want to do. So I just leave a little bit of dry time in between and there you go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out with my scissors, just fussy cut it. And I took that out because I, I was sure you didn't want to watch me fussy cut that, but it wasn't too hard. The most difficult part was the leaves, of course. I stamped one of the sentiments here and now I'm going to heat set it with some black embossing powder. It says, hope your day is beautiful. And I'll cut that out with, with a die here to make a straight line. And then I'll place that on the card, just gluing it straight down, and then I'll pop that bouquet right over the top with some liquid adhesive. So when you get this card, you're gonna have a bright, beautiful bouquet. You'll have some glittery gold ones in the background as well as those wonky scallops in pink. So you're getting a lot of tropical colors for this card. Really fun, really beautiful. I'm gonna pop that down right there, put an acrylic block over the top so that it can dry, and then I'll cut the excess off the edge here, just like so. There we go. Now this is ready to put onto the card base, so I'll go ahead and use that same liquid adhesive and put that on a 110 pound card base, and that's gonna give it a lot of stability there. And that is our card for today. I hope you enjoyed this process, adding some stencil interest and some 
glittery embossing interest to the background, as well as using some watercolor markers to easily color a tropical bouquet. I had a great time making this card. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by again and again. I'll see you real soon with some more card making inspiration. Until then, happy crafting. Bye-bye.